Now, Khalif Khaira has been known as one of the biggest influences. I mean, at least the biggest influences on um, on X. And he has been known for his uh, enthusiasm in not just showing off cars or giving us descriptions of cars, telling us what they do. Da -da -da. I think he's also selling a car. He sells cars as well. Anyway, Philip Cairo is a big, big, big celebrity. We all remember the controversy that was between the Cairos and the Maureen Bandari uh, fans and people saying he should have won an award which he didn't win a couple of I think even last year and now but um, moving on to even happier news he has been in a really really happy relationship with his girlfriend and I think he decided to do an extension of that joy or show us how much he loves his girlfriend mm -hmm. by going online and saying that he had an old school uh, renovated sort of um, Volkswagen which he said he would gift to one of his followers if they could write a beautiful poem about his girlfriend and of course everybody thought this was a joke everyone's like mm, what, what are you, is this true is this not true what's going on but actually he did put it up and he let it out into the world and so people started putting in their best foot forward and their best uh, work out there and i think one of the guys who actually did his best work goes by the name of jimmy aka at kafangi on twitter uh, and this, this is what he, he wrote a very beautiful poem. I think I can try and read some of it. It's a bit long, but I'll try and read it very quickly. He said, in a city full of hums where engines roar, Cairo finds his love a gem to adore. Sarah, her name, a whisper of light in his world of metal. She shines bright. A dealer of cars, his hands wrote, uh, wrote with grease or wrought with grease. But when he, seed her, when he sees her, the dim seems to seize. Twitter is a cruel, <laughs> Twitter cruel birds chirp harsh to his ear, mock his love, they sneer and they jeer. Too, com uh, too common for you, their venomous sting, he's just a dealer, these insults will, f um, they fling. Yet Cairo, undaunted by digital scorn, dreams of a dawn where his love is reborn. Mm -hmm. And we all have heard the controversial conversations, including, um, Edgar Barry hurling insults at her, putting up a video of her twerking at a club a few years ago, calling her, what was the word he, ca he called her, but a very interesting statement um, where he was just basically jeering and mocking at her. And many other people have actually been mocking him and his girlfriend. But I think it was a very beautiful um, ballad stroke poem and he definitely deserves to win this car mm -hmm. and so he has won the car guys what a beautiful story what a beautiful ending of something we all thought was a joke just in case you haven't seen the car it is the one that is uh, revolving around the screen it is a volkswagen uh 2002 volkswagen with a stock interior and it is a very beautiful car it was a 24-hour challenge and Jimmy won it. So congratulations to you, Jimmy. And good on you, Cairo. And also Sarah, girl, he love you. Good for, good for Cairo for changing the narrative. Because yeah. the past few weeks, it has been hectic. Especially on the app X. I don't get wh where all this hate is coming from. And I feel like the people who are mostly hating and very vocal about his relationship with Sarah are just haters at this point. At this because point, yeah. you expect someone who didn't have a past before they met you. They were born, they existed, and then they met you. So for them to even dig up videos from her past just to try and mock him is a bit cruel. What do you mean? What do you mean? You guys are too much from people calling her names why what was the reason but I feel like y'all are just very jealous you're jealous that somebody can afford the type of babe that Sarah Imani is because she's beautiful she is such a beautiful babe why would she not get the world I class mean, treatment uh, the hey. world cl class treatment that she's mm -hmm. receiving why is she so undeserving Amma you guys are actu actually like secretly in love with Cairo at this point because that's the energy it's giving you know like all the maliciousness all the vile mm -hmm. you guys are secretly in love with Cairo and Gosh. that's why you're doing the most Gosh. so please let them be they're so happy together and if you it ends in tears. Let Is it it. tears. As in, why? You guys are so invested for all the wrong reasons. I even saw uh, Andrew Kibe trying to have an opinion about this. I'm just like, old man, Seriously. keep quiet. Seriously. These are people half your age who happen to be in love and they just happen to share, it, share the whole experience of the whole world. Why are we so invested? Do better. And